Hello. Today's video will cover viewing the orders that you've gotten in your store and what to do with those orders. So, of course, we log into our store admin. Look here. Look for view orders. Click on that. That will show us all the orders that we have currently waiting in our store for us to do something with. Here it shows us the invoice number, who purchased it, what the total dollar amount was, what date they purchased it, and here we want to see the order. So, click view. Again, it shows us the specifics of the order. Okay, here's the payment information. This is not a live credit card, so don't worry about it. Don't copy it down. You're not going to be able to use it. It doesn't exist. Is the credit card the expiration date? Of course, the three-digit security code because it was Visa. Now it's the product information. They ordered one photo crystal. They paid $26 for it. They wanted lettering of Hello Dolly, which increased the cost another $6. The crystal size is a 2 by 3 The total for this product is $20 plus the $6, getting us to $26. Now you see here, it says photo ID 8386. Write that down. It is very important. So we're going to go to continue here. Remember now, remember that photo ID, 8386. Good. So we've got a $26 total. They're charging $9.12 to ship this via UPS ground. The grand total is $35.12. Here's the information for the billing, where to ship it, any additional information like a customer would have been able to write any kind of comments or direction. Please make this a horizontal or a vertical crystal or please crop the picture. Whatever they want to, to input or a uh, message they would want to send out to you, they would be able to do it here. And input any coupon that they would have had. We went over coupons in a previous video. Let's go back up to the top now. You'll see here, you've got a couple on the right hand side, you've got a couple of choices of what to do. So you can move the order from pending over to done, but we haven't done anything with this yet, so we're not going to move it. We can delete the order. Why would we want to do that? We got paid for it. We can print it out, which is very advisable. Send them an a ship notice, send the customer an email, maybe we want to say thank you for their order. We can print out the shipping label. We can search for a particular order in any way. There's the order number, which is the invoice number, is the order number. And this are, these are links. If we shipped it out via USPS, this will bring up the UPS uh, tracking page. We can put in our tracking information and help that customer get answers on where their package is. So, remember what we said earlier. We need to know about this number. What picture is it that this customer uploaded for this order? Refer to the video uh, entitled Image Manager. That will give you the instructions on where to go and how to get the actual image that was uploaded for this particular order. Once you're complete, you have the picture, you've printed out this invoice, you are certain that you've begun the process of manufacturing and developing this order for shipment, then and only then should you move the order from pending to done. Thank you. That's it.